All right, so far you have learned a lot about JavaScript and DOM. And now it's time for you to write a JavaScript feature on your own. In the previous lectures, when you learned or read about previous element sibling, you may have noticed that there's also a next element sibling property. And it works in the way you would expect. It returns the element immediately following the referenced element. Now I have a challenge for you, and that is, please try to use this property to implement a down button for each list item, just as we did earlier with the up button. So in other words, the down button will move the item one position downward in the list. This challenge is a great way to practice what you have learned so far. So good luck, have fun, and remember, practice makes perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk through how I did it. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. And then open the index.html file in the browser. In the index.html file, remember to link app.js file. First, I'll add down buttons to index.html just before the up button. The button will say down and it has a class of down. I'll do the same for others. I'll save the change. Next, in the app.js file, first, I'll copy the up button's handler and paste it right below. And here I need to update a few things. First, I'll update this condition to check if the target's class name is down or not. So I'll update this to down. Now I still need the list item and its parent, so I'll keep these two lines. But to move the target list item down, I need the next sibling, not the previous one. So I'll update this line to const next li assignment operator li dot next element sibling then I'll update this condition to next li so that the if statement will make sure I only try to move the list item down if it isn't the last child of the ul but if it's the last child, the variable next li would be null and the code in the if statement not gonna run. For this one, we still need to use the insert before method because, as I mentioned earlier, there's no insert after method. So to use the insert before method, the next sibling becomes the element we want to move, so I'll pass in the next li as the first argument. And we want to place it before the target list item, so I'll pass in the target list item li as the second argument. All right, I'll save the chains. Refresh the page. I'll try to click the down button on each item. Looks like it's working. Good. 